At this point in time, St. George's Roman Catholic High School is facing the prospect of closure. Open your eyes and take a second look because you've not looked hard enough. We're a community school that serves a community and we're proud of it. It should be about the community, it should be about the students. We will show and demonstrate that we want to be listened to and we're not going to be walked all over. Their proposal was just to close St George's. What a terrible indictment on the Labour Council that that's what they came out with. St George's are not going to stop us yet. We'll do a great job and the kids are wonderful. It's a great turnout. You've got to tell them that they're doing a really good job, the kids. They started it, they've turned out en masse, and they're going to do a wonderful job walking to show all of Salford how they feel about the closure. Remember what we're doing today. We were here because some of the youngsters from our school felt as though they hadn't been listened to. four girls, we owe a lot to them, and if the school does remain open, which we all want it to, it'll be down to them. A lot of this will be down to them. This actual protest to the council has been considered a social event. It's not actually a protest, it's considered a group of people just walking down the road. Well, they've charged Heather, Becky, Hannah and myself because it was our idea. They've charged four school girls. £1,800 for closing the roads for 20 minutes. Well, obviously, you can tell from today, it's not just been a social party no. or anything. Obviously, it's been an actual they, think, they think it's a carnival, don't they? No, they, they think, think we're, think we're all here for a laugh, when really, we need to be taken seriously. This yeah, isn't so a laugh, shows. we want to save our school. It's, it's a protest, it's yeah. not a carnival, it's not, it's not a social, social event. event. And so we shouldn't have to pay. But they've got to listen to the democratic voice of people in Salford. The school have spent two years telling them we cannot close, that there's been no educational reason, that there's been no financial reason that they should just... Their proposal was just to close St George's. What a terrible indictment on the Labour Council that that's what they came out with. A successful school, you see the support we have, you see the type of kids we have. Why, why put a stupid idea in front of it? They should keep us open. It does feel like a large family, it's, it's got that feel about it, or a, a small community if you like. I think if they'd looked hard enough, if they'd come into the school and spent some real time with the students as individuals, with the staff, then they wouldn't dream of closing it. Salford have now heard our voice. They have heard our voice of protest. Now let them listen to our words. Now let them listen to what we're saying about St George's. Every child matters, at least that's what they say. But governing by numbers, is that the honest way? Outside workers meddle, not knowing what they do. Let them hear the message that's coming from me and you.
Abba Boys, building for.